is a kind of subtle sense that I'm missing something. Like I've done a lot with my life. Like I've, I've got a nice house and I've got a nice family and friends and I've got the clothes and I've got the car and I've got the yearly annual holidays and I've got the career success and so what? But there must be something else. Surely there's something else because I'm, I'm missing something. I feel there's like something missing in my experience. Like, and so we keep going even more. We keep looking even more. So, oh, it must be because I need to have more money. I have to have a bigger house. I have to have that, that house renovated. Once I get that house, I should really get another house. And then once I've done that, I should really improve my car and go on a nicer holiday. Then I'll feel more fulfilled. Yeah? Then I'll be more me. And what can happen is we start looking for ourselves outside ourselves without realizing. We start defining ourselves by our life as opposed to something much greater. We start defining ourselves by what our job's like, what our house is like, what our bank balance is like. That's the sort of person I am, that's who I am. And because we don't realize that's what we're actually doing, we need to have a lot of money in order to be worthwhile. We need to have a good body in order to be lovable. We have to do lots of stuff in order to be. Wait a minute. We're going to do lots of stuff in order to be. And the madness of what happens often, I'm not saying this happening with you guys, I'm saying the madness that happens with people out there, you know, is that they are rushing around, busily trying to get something that they already have. But they're just looking in the wrong place. So they're rushing around, trying to find peace. Rushing around, trying to find peace. You need to do nothing in order to get happiness, peace, contentment, and love. The people rush around all day trying to get it. And in the process of rushing around trying to get it, they're literally running away from it. They're literally doing the very opposite of what they need to do in order to experience it right now. I was so in the kind of, gotta get going, gotta get going, gotta get, get, keep going, gotta get somewhere, gotta get somewhere, you know? Anywhere other than here. <laughs> that I hadn't realized that 99.9% .9 of my day was spent in the past or the future. In the past or the future. And so what we're talking about here is resting back into your true self. This. Because what happens is when you rest back and chill out, you'll find that there's a peace there. There's a, a joy, there's a contentment. There, there's a, a, there is a love. You're resting into a sea of unconditional love. And it's all about resting back into who you truly are. And who you truly are is what you are already. It's what you are already, isn't that cool? Programmed to think we need to become something different in order to become who we are. Isn't that funny? But if you think about it, who we are is who we are right now. Yeah. And what if that is good enough? What if that is enough right now? Can we let that be enough right now? What happens to your experience if you do that right now? Just letting this moment be enough. But what I had found is because I had to change something in order to be something, you know, me, <laughs> I was constantly going in the future to try and figure out how I could become this thing. But the problem was, that was thinking pattern. So when I got to the point in the future, which was, was then, at that moment in time, I was in the pattern and habit of going into the future again. So nothing was ever good enough, because I, once I got what I wanted, I was in the future again, trying to get something else. I was living with a girl in my dreams, in the house of my dreams, driving a car in my dreams, with more money than I could possibly want. I was on television, I was in all the magazines, I had books published that were selling really well. You know, all these things were happening, and I realised, shit, I'm not happy yet. But I put everything on my list, and there was quite a big, substantial list. You know, some... I thought I might get it at some point in my life, but I actually got the list in two years from setting it. <laughs> yeah. And the problem with that was that although it was someone might go, oh, whoopie do, that's good, you got it. But the problem was I wasn't happy yet. And because I wasn't happy yet and I achieved what I wanted, I lost that day hope. Because what was the point in setting another goal? What was the point in setting another goal? Because I already had pretty big goals and they hadn't made me happy. I certainly wasn't peaceful. In fact, I was more unpeaceful than I was before I started the whole goal setting thing. I hadn't realized that goal setting was creating a huge amount of stress in my life because my moment was never good enough. 
Because every time I had a, a moment, I immediately went into the future and compared it to how it wasn't exactly how I wanted to be quite yet. And I created this space between where I was and where I wanted to be. And that space caused me a lot of pain. I'm not saying don't set goals. I'm saying set goals, but be present as you go about creating something that you might think you want. There's a big difference. Because I spent a lot of time in the future, and I missed the magnificent moment that was happening right now. I have such a good fun all the time. <laughs> Anything is fun. Anything is magical. And it's magical because I never know what's going to happen and it's addictive this moment is addictive when you start really tuning into this moment and hanging out there and experiencing the brightness and the vibrancy and the and the joy and the fullness of this moment not some other moment that's going to be different or better compared to what my mind thinks it should be but this this moment if you start resting here you will find that you're so full you know, I had this little feeling below my heart that nothing filled it. It was like this ache. And it completely disappeared when I started hanging out in this present moment. I hadn't realized I was missing myself. And, and I am this moment. And so are you. I got to a point where I was like, you know, if I always do what I've always done, I'll always get what I've always got. And I tried to think myself happy. I tried to think myself peaceful. And it hadn't worked. So I was personally open to an alternative way of living, which was to not think anymore. <laughs> you're still doing stuff, but you're present. You're not thinking about it. And it's just a bit dense. And it, so you live completely normal, very simply actually, but there's a richness to it. I want you to know there's a different way of living life. I want you to know that permanent peace is possible. It's your birthright. I want you to know that your life will continue, you have need to change nothing in your external world, you don't need to leave anyone behind in order for you to experience peace now. There's no reason for you to not go for it. Except a thought that might say, yeah, he's talking bullshit. Or, yeah, I tried it before but it didn't work for me. Or, I'll get around to it one day. But it's really important that you prioritise it, that's all that's required. That's the only thing that's required. Is you make peace or joy or happiness or love or whatever you would have you'd asked for. Make that more important than anything else. And don't worry, everyone else will benefit too. But you need to, need to start with you making it more important. Because if it's not, then I've got to make money today. Will become more important. And the peace is gone. Don't worry, you're going to make money and be at peace, but you need to prioritize the peace. And it's really important for you guys to put a price on your peace. I know that makes it like a weird thing to say, but how important is it, really? You, this, or love, or joy, or contentment. You know that thing you would ask for if you had one, one wish? That one wish, one wish, I said. And you would ask for that. How important is it to you? It's going to be the most important thing. And if one, the moment it is, you've got it. Because nothing else will stand in your way. Nothing. I can't emphasize this enough. It's so simple. And it's your birthright and you can experience it, but you've got to make it more important. And you will, now you've heard this, you can't forget it. And so you're going to be going through this week and you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm probably making this, getting this right, or this, making this, you know, being right in this argument, or getting this job done in time, or making this thing, or, or doing that, or getting this planned right more important than my number one desire. How silly. I can just relax again and do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway, but I don't need to get stressed over it. Yeah? Make your peace, make your joy, make your happiness, make your love, make your contentment more important.